Ciao amici, welcome to Sips of Italy. I don't know why, but this just makes me so happy. Part of our first cherry harvest, and I love cherries. We have two trees on the property. Um, I want you to come along now and meet Angela and Simone. They're two uh, wonderful people that are second generation wine owners. And they're gonna bring us into their tasting room and you're gonna get to see uh, firsthand uh, what it's like to run a small winery here in this beautiful part of the country. And in this episode, you're going to see some of the kind of more subtle changes to the property, some a few tweaks we've done to the outside and inside. Uh, it's, there's no big project to introduce you to, but uh, we'll show you a couple little ones. I am kind of known as the gnome aficionado. So uh, saw this at the auction house and it had to be, he's, he's got the clippers in hand. So he will be my uh, guardian gnome. All right, just about ready to start hoeing. In Italian, it's called a zappa, Z-A-P-P-A. -P -P so I'll be zapping it here uh, pretty soon. Yeah, I know. I had my break 20 minutes ago. Keep working. I get it. I've taken most of the rocks out of this. Uh, this earth is quite rocky. There's a lot of tiny or not so tiny rocks in here. So that's uh, taking them out of the ground here and we're gonna surround this inside of what's called the orto or the garden with these rocks. So my boss returned. I think he had a potty break. This. Uh, Earth below is definitely thick. It's got a lot of clay in it. And we had some rains recently. So it's quite clumped up. I gotta work in the sun still, but my boss has moved to a nicer shaded spot. Uh, hope you're comfortable there. He's been giving me that eye the whole day. I'll show him. It's satisfying to see the results and I'll probably be able to eat more pasta tonight without guilt. Maybe another glass of wine. Who am I kidding? I'm gonna do that anyway. So finally, everything's planted and uh, stakes are in the ground for the tomatoes. We're gonna have a lot of tomatoes, I think, if these all grow. Hopefully in a month, we'll start getting some vegetables out of this and it'll give all summer. Angela and Simone's winery is in a little town called Pastine. How do you say it properly? Pastine or Pastine or? Pastine. Pastine, that's how you say it. So in 2016, Jennifer and I just got in the car and we were about to drive past this winery. We slowed down a little bit as we're approaching. The door was open. Uh, we decided to stop the car and uh, take a peek inside. And uh, wow, uh, we were welcomed even though it was impromptu. It was towards the end of the day. And Angela was here, it was late in the afternoon. And she said, she said, come on in, come on in. And, and served us food, gave us a, a wine tasting like that was like we were coming home to family. Yeah. And that's what we loved about it. Many times I say, you are not customer. You are our guest. And uh, guests become friends. It's not just the the quality of the wine, it's the people. You can get great <laughs> wine anywhere. You can get great food yeah, anywhere. What I you say know, every yeah, time, yeah. you can find everywhere here, good Chianti, good wine, red wine, white, uh, what do you want? Good yeah. food. But I think that it's not so simple to find uh, the real people, the real life uh, that we live every right. day to arrive uh, at uh, one bottle of wine. There's a lot of love and a lot of yeah, work that goes wine, into yeah. it. Oh, it's so great. So, Merlot. Merlot? 
you like? Do you like? Yes. I don't normally like Merlot, ah, but I like your I Merlot. Like your Merlot. Uh, there was a man. Uh, oh no no no! I don't drink rosato. Sorry, you don't drink the other. And so at the end of the of the evening, the, told me, oh, your rosato is very good. It's my favorite. <laughs> We've come back here every year that we come to this part of the country, not because of the food or the wine or the art or the culture. We come because of the people. Yeah. For the people. Every time, every time, and that's what led us to want to live here uh, was the people. Gave us this housewarming gift. Yeah. yeah. Open. 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 Oh. Yeah, she can open. Okay, Jane. <laughs> I have to be delicate with the beautiful ribbons. <laughs> so beautifully prepared. <laughs> it's a particular color, right? <laughs> oh, oh, oh wow. That that'll this go. Is, yeah. It's a like Hello. a piña. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, lovely. And that is why we always come back. <laughs> we created this Italian adventure so that we could bring special friends to experience what we've experienced for so many years. And our first kind of quasi-official couple visit was from Mike and Connie, wonderful friends of ours from Hawaii. So they'll probably always have the designation of coming the furthest to sample this area. I came here not being a wine drinker. And Love that. I think I like wine. <laughs> <laughs> so I may take that home with me and start being a bit more of a wine connoisseur instead of just beer. In addition to being a region known for great red wine, it's also an area where you can find a lot of olive trees and hence olive oil. That was high on Mike's list of things to do and we were able to expose him to an olive oil tasting. It's the people and the friends of yours that we've met. The best thing about being here are the people. I think you can find that you're rich with friends, you're embraced by the people around you and it's just been beautiful. Yeah meals and the long afternoons of sitting around and drinking wine and talking is, is what Italy is all about. This has been the highlight. Grazie. Aloha. Well, I hope you enjoyed getting to meet Angela and Simone. They're incredible people with just a welcoming persona. We love them. We love what they do. The next person you'll meet is Marco. Marco's another great friend of ours that uh, started out in the, started out being a chef. He owned his own restaurant for a part of uh, his career. He's working on a few concepts right now and uh, his cooking ability is extraordinary. He learned it all from his grandmother and you get to meet her too. And we'll have some changes to the property as we always do. It's a new driveway with uh, some beautiful stone walls that honor the property and its history, as well as a uh, cement paver turnaround and some gravel in between. So come on along. Enjoy Sips of Italy with us and make sure to subscribe or like us if you like what we're doing here. Thanks again and ciao for now.